All right, uh, hello everyone. This is Brendan. I'm a werewolf because I'm shooting a video from my uh, my PC, and it had this great effect in their uh, their web camera central studio software thing. Uh, but the reason I'm shooting a video from my computer is because I'm going to show you something I made on my iPad, and I use my iPad to shoot all my videos. So let me show you this thing. This is a poorly angled shot. Okay, we're getting there. There we go. Um, I forgot the microphone's kind of sensitive. I'm sure there's some clipping. Y'all just gonna have to deal. And for some reason why I tilt my camera, it wants to do that. Okay, we're good. So this is the Sinosaurus Rex and not the best name ever. I'm kind of regretting it, but that's okay. Um, what it is, is it's four banks of five oscillator groups, and those oscillators cascade and determine the pitch of the oscillators that follow them. So let me, let me do this. I'm clicking. Where am I? Okay, wait, am I back? Okay, we're still recording. Great. So I'm recording the audio output to Cubase so that it doesn't like distort or clip. Um, so here's the first pitch. Oh, I should put these headphones on. Okay. This is the first pitch and it's at the highest it can be. And now I'm going to set the next pitch. So if I do it here, it will be divided by two. That's a thousand kilohertz hum. So let's set it to 500 and then 250. So you can see that the first pitch you choose cascades down, but it also is divided by five across the board here. So let's listen to that. So you can hear that, you know, very subtle difference in division. Um, and now I just, uh, these are the volume, the volume bank for the four, for the four banks. And then this is the pitch and it cascades as well, so we've got the top one, and it controls all, all of the subsequent oscillators. And then we've got the next one, and it controls the next three, and then this one controls two, and then the last one controls one. So it's kind of a, synth a synthesizer that forces you to think backwards. That's just uh, that's some stuff. But if I set the top pitch first, and I usually like to set it the highest because as it divides, it will quickly enter the spectrum of infrasound, which is a fancy word for sound that is too low for humans to perceive, but can still be experienced physically if you've got really big subwoofers or really big speakers. So maybe I'll just try, I'll just, I'm just gonna doodle around and see if something nice comes out.
Okay, and that's uh, that's what it sounds like. And that was my first performance ever using a an iPad. And I just uh, hope everyone enjoyed this video, enjoyed the little performance, and uh, I guess I'll post the code and you guys can have fun. It's on this really interesting platform called uh, Mob Moo Plat. Uh, which is like a pure data kind of translator that takes all your pure data and puts it into like an iPad version because this isn't an app. I didn't program this. This is like a very simple, uh, I don't know, Dropbox for pure data. Right. So, neato. Great. Have a great week, everyone. It's Monday, and if you just like get it together, we can make it through and we'll get to Saturday. And well, you, we can get to Friday. We can get to Friday. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye.